Well, we hope it does get rid of the haze, but we're going to take the haze out of trying to figure out if a movie is worth seeing or not. And we have a film critic, Ryan Painter, here, and we're talking about uh, one release uh, coming out yeah, this there's, weekend. There's four films coming out this but, week, but only we'll one worth talking about. So. Okay, and that's uh, Jennifer Aniston. I guess yeah. it's always worth talking yes. about in Cake. In Cake. Now, this is, you know, I've gotten a lot of interest in this film because she is playing a different kind of role for her. It's a dramatic yeah. role. Usually uh, it's comedy. Yeah, usually yeah. she's kind of uh, the n girl next door sort of thing. And this film, she's actually playing uh, a woman who suffers from uh, chronic pain. Uh, and she's kind of a, a grumpy, mean uh, individual. She, can't, in fact, her, her support group doesn't like her. I mean, when your support group doesn't like you, that, <laughs> you that tells you something about it. But she gets uh, uh, basically one of the support group members dies, she commits suicide, and she kind of sneaks her way into the uh, husband who's left behind uh, his life. And so it's kind of it's a, a strange film in that she plays a very unlikable character. Um, which is, like you said, a dramatically different thing from her. And there has been a lot of talk about Oscar nominations and did she get snubbed? And well, I think the truth of the matter is, is she didn't get snubbed. I think a lot of people would have liked to see her get nominated, but the film is decent. It's not great. But it's not great. And her yeah. performance is pretty. I mean, it's. It, I think she does well with what she's given to, to work with. But I mean, her character is almost one note sort of thing, where we don't get to see that charming side. We don't get to see her kind of uh, show a range, oh, so it's almost okay. like she's playing the same thing throughout. Um, so uh, it, it's worth a look for the big Jennifer Aniston fans, but everyone else can probably skip this one. Okay, now you got some DVD releases. Got some DVDs at least. So at least uh, there's a couple films that came out this week that are actually really good films, and the first being Box Trolls, which was a, a nice family film made by the people who did Paranorman and uh, Coraline, uh, kind of a, a nice adventure film uh, featuring kind of a young boy who hangs out with these kind of monsters mm -hmm. who are the, the, the box trolls. Uh, so absolutely fantastic family film in that regard. If you're not into family films, the other film this week is... I don't like family films. You don't like films, family no. films. It's, it's a film called Lucy, which uh, scars uh, Scarlett Johansson as uh, kind of this, uh, initially kind of this dumb blonde who, uh, after some uh, drug intake that she's uh, given, uh, her brain starts being able to utilize. It's the whole thing, how we only use 10% of our brains. Well, she ends up, by the end of the film, using 100% of her brain, and it allows her to do all these kind of supernatural, okay. crazy things. I love this film in the sense that uh, I, I love seeing Scarlett Johansson do uh, action. Uh, it is a little bonkers, a little crazy, uh, but definitely uh, enjoyable. And if you want a copy, I can get you one. Oh. So we have copies of both Lucy. A giveaway. We have Lucy <laughs> and the Box Trolls. So if you'd like either of those films, email me at contest at KUTV2.com and uh, we'll pick some winners today. Um, and we'll let you know if you we'll win. you know if you won today. Okay. Exactly. That's a good deal. It always pays to watch. It, it definitely does. does. And we love to give stuff away. All right. Uh, and going on right now, too, is a little thing called Sundance. Sundance, that's right. A little bit of Sundance. Uh, it started kind of last night in Park City. Really kind of kicks off tonight. Uh, there's a local film called In Football We Trust. It's the night of the grand. Heard about that? Uh, yeah. We're checking out. It follows some uh, four different football, high school football players from, uh, from Utah who are Polynesian and kind of... Okay. Goes way, and it's well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on Sundance while it's in town. Absolutely. An exciting time of the year.